Hey guys, it's Jing. In this video, I show you guys what online medical school orientation looks like. So for those of you that don't know, orientation is like a week or two that prepares you basically for medical school. And I was going to film like a whole video just for medical school orientation, but it was getting too long, so I decided to break it up into two parts. So this video will show you guys the first week of online medical school orientation and virtual socialization, so I hope you guys find this useful. Also, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Jing Wu. I'm a first year medical student and I make videos on medicine, nutrition, and mental health because of my previous experience with eating disorders. And I'll also be vlogging my journey through starting medical school and talking about like what I learned. So if anything, any of those sound interesting to you or you just want to follow along, remember to like and subscribe. Hi, hi YouTube. So Today is the first day of medical school, so technically we have orientation week, so it's about two weeks where we get accustomed to the medical school routine. So today is the first day of orientation, and it doesn't start till 1 p.m., so that's why I'm going on a little morning jog to the river, the beautiful James River. And today I'll just be sharing you guys, to you guys like what online medical school looks like. So I'm also very grateful that VCU is trying to have like socially distant social. So we'll also be having a social activity later in the evening. So that'll be good. Okay, so I just came back from my morning run and it was really good and I took a shower. And then next we have a roll call thing and it's gonna be on Zoom. And if you don't show up, you miss your spot. So it's super important. So. I'll probably just make lunch and then get ready for that. I have work for you, and of course, like everything else in this world, it's a combination. I mean, your training going forward is a combination of in person, in, in on campus presence, and then online in this hybrid model that we are working our way through. But we are here for you, whether it's physical. Uh, Asians, let's okay. go. Hi, Hi, Hi guys. You're so Hi. Hi. I'm making a video. <laughs> Yeah, wait, it's even nicer with the sunset. Yeah. Like, wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. So, today is the second day of medical school orientation, and our first class starts at 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., and then we have some mentorship thing from 1 to 4, and then some Zoom meeting at 6. So, I'm just trying to get in a quick run walk. Okay, so I just finished day two of medical school orientation. So from 8 to 12, we had lectures. I'm um, sorry, not lectures. They were just presentations about VCU, different student services, counseling services, mental well-being, introduction of all the faculty members. To be honest, like the whole experience felt really different online. It didn't feel like you don't have the same type of energy that you would feel if you were in a classroom with like all your peers and like most of the time the whole class was like on the group me and just talking to each other so it just like it felt a lot different and then yeah so the afternoon is actually free so my roommate and i were thinking about checking out the hollywood cemetery and then walking around for a bit and then later we have like a zoom speed dating greeting thing okay so today is the third day of orientation and we don't have anything in the morning so i went on a run to the james river again and then today they're just having us do like a team-based learning se session or something i don't know exactly what that's about and then we'll be meeting with our society groups so in med school because our class has like 200 people they split us up into four different societies kind of like harry potter societies so i got placed in the burner syrup society so i guess i'll be meeting the other people in that society today okay so i also thought i'd show you guys like the social zoom events that vcu was trying to do so 
Essentially, on Monday, we had like this Richmond restaurants thing divided us up into smaller groups. So, so basically, they had us all sign up for like a restaurant. So I'm not going to scroll through the document because there's people's personal information and phone numbers on here. But essentially, they try to limit the number of people who could go to these restaurants and we would just sign up for it. And then on Tuesday, which was yesterday, we had these Zoom breakout rooms where they just divided us up into like groups of two or three and got to meet like other people in our class. And then today we have this society social thing that I was talking about, how they divide us up into four societies and so we meet the other people in our societies. And then on Friday, we have this potluck thing so I'm not going to scroll through the whole document, but essentially someone hosts and then people can sign up for that. And then we have an exploring Richmond thing. So again, the same sign up thing. Questions, one minute between each one. I suggest going ahead and introducing yourself. Okay, so we just finished the virtual team building activity and it was actually a lot more engaging and fun than I thought it would be and it was actually pretty hard. Like they made us like order numbers and like order pictures and yeah, if that was any representation of how medical school would be, Shivani, <laughs> then I am going to fail medical school if I try to do it alone. So that activity taught me to learn from my peers and to work together in a team. That's super hot out. Yeah, so Shivani and I just finished our Zoom orientation stuff and our head hurts. And our faces from smiling so much in Zoom. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same. We're going to the river. Need to breathe. Yeah. Okay, so today is the fourth day of orientation and we finally get to meet people in person. So I am super pumped about that. Uh, it's 6.30 right now. I'm trying to go on a run before we leave at 7 because a few uh, girls and I are trying to do the 7 mile run tomorrow at 6 a.m. So kind of wanted to train for that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just trying to like document this experience. So this okay. is our first day meeting in yeah. person. Yeah. This is my table group. So we got these goodie bags that have like hand sanitizer and it smells really bad. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just finished orientation. This was a first in-person orientation that we had and essentially they broke up the class of 200 into small groups of three. So I was able to meet my table group and they were all really cool people all from California. I don't know if that was coincidental or not. And at first they had a technology presentation and then they had like a uh, Myers-Briggs presentation. So I got my Myers-Briggs test results. The Myers-Briggs I am INFJ. Um, and this is like the degree of which of these I am. It's really interesting because every time I take the Myers-Briggs test, this introversion extroversion thing seems to flip. And also I thought I was more like sensing, but I guess I'm more intuition. And I thought I was more thinking, but I guess I'm more feeling. And I guess I am like a planner, so that's judging. We also played this activity where we had to build up like we had to take spaghetti and build up the highest structure we could and place a marshmallow at the top. So this was actually something I saw at an MMI interview at another school. So it's really interesting doing that activity. And then, yeah, just some stuff on professionalism, but it was, and counseling and coaching. It was really a long, like four hours. And I just felt really tired, but it was really great to see people in person and actually meet some of my classmates. Hi guys, so today is day five of orientation week. So the first thing I'm going to do, it's 6.30 a.m. right now, and a few girls that I met from orientation week and I are going to go on a seven mile run. One of the girls is a marathon runner, so yeah, I'm not a marathon runner, but we'll see how that goes. And then for the rest of the day, we just have like presentations that I suppose are supposed to substitute the white coat ceremony, but we haven't gotten our white coats or ID cards or anything. So I don't really know what that's about. And then later tonight, there's like a potluck dinner thing. So that'll be fun. Hi Ellie! Hi! So we're like almost two miles in! 
we did it! We ran seven miles! Okay, so after the seven mile run, my roommate and I and a few other students went to go grocery shopping, but now it's going to be like the virtual ceremony thing they have for us. So I guess this is supposed to t take place the white coat ceremony, but we don't even have the white coats yet. Wow, this is challenging. So this is our virtual ceremony. I'm just eating some snacks. Okay, so he's just talking, but I'm so distracted because it's raining so much right now and it doesn't rain in California and I'm still pretty dazed about this. Okay, so that was my first week of medical school orientation. So there was definitely a lot of virtual events on Zoom, but then there are also a lot of socials, which has been really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very um, not organized and planned, but I hope it gives you some idea of what med school looks like during an, a pandemic. I will be making a separate video on the next week of medical school, which will be a lot more academic as we're going to have boot camps and start actually learning stuff. So if you're interested in that, remember to like and subscribe.